Hello everybody, my name is Alan Underwood with CodingBlocks.net and in this video I want to do a review of the WorkPro Quantum 9000 office chair. So I've been meaning to do this video for a long time, actually going on about a year now because I did a review of the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2 which was popping up all over my feed everywhere. Like they pay for a ton of online advertising. And so I bought that chair, I did the review. And by doing so, I found out a couple of things that people were curious about in that review. So hopefully I'll hit all those points in this one. And you know, that way you'll have a better idea of, of how this particular setup would work for you. Now, the reason why this review was so important for me to do is everybody asked me after I did that review, hey, is this the chair that you recommend? And I'd almost always say, yeah, no, I mean, I like that chair, but the one that I prefer is this one. And this is the actual chair that I've basically referred everybody to. And outside of one person that I know personally, just about everybody loves this chair. So let's go ahead and get some of the details out of the way so that you know we can then get into my opinions on the chair. But the first parts are just the technical type de details. So the seat height on this thing, and I tried to measure it from like right where the, the top of it is, where the top of the cushion and the mesh is. At its lowest is about 17 inches off the floor, and you can move it up to about 21 inches. So it has about four inches of travel, which is pretty good. The arm height on the, on the armrests themselves go from about seven and a half inches from the base of the seat. So this is hard to do because the seat's curved and it's, you know, it's not like it's a flat seat. So I tried to do it right next to where the arm is. So seven and a half inches above that, which really isn't that far up, all the way up to about 10 inches. So you have about two, inch, two and a half inches of travel. So when it's at 10 inches, my elbows and my arms are almost perfectly perpendicular. When it's down at the seven and a half, like it's just above my, my legs. So it's pretty low. Um, the back adjustment. So the back portion or the back panel of this chair will actually go up in like five clicks. So it's like one click increments. And then when you get to the top and you go over the fifth, it drops back down. I tried to measure that from the base, like the frame of the back and bottom of the chair so that you'd at least have an idea of where it's coming from. So that goes from about two inches at its lowest all the way up to about four and a quarter, four and a half inches. So it has about two and a quarter to two and a half inches of travel. So um, that's moving it up. And that's mainly for your lumbar supports because the back of it is curved a little bit. So if you're trying to get that up a little bit further or lower in your back, that's what you'd be doing that for. And then the armrests when they're closed, they're about 16 inches apart from the tips on the, on the outer side of them or on the inside of them. And then the, if you open them all the way up, they're about 23 inches apart. So it moves about seven inches, it gives you seven inches of extra, you know, if you want to hold your arms out at an angle as opposed to inward at an angle, you can get that. So those are, it, those are like the technical specs and I measured them. Hopefully, you know, that'll help looking at the, the tape measure in the video. So you'll kind of see what I'm talking about, the perspective. And then the other adjustments that it has, it has the ability to slide the base of the seat in and out. Uh, you can recline and it has three lock positions going back. So you can do it all the way up, back a little bit, back a little bit more or all the way back. And it actually does have a decent recline. Um, I believe that this is it. Oh, that was the slide. I'm, I always do the wrong ones. So uh, at any rate, <laughs> we'll skip that for right now. I think this is the one that I was trying to do. So you can see, you can actually go back quite a distance in that. So all of that said, this is not the most adjustable chair ever. Like it's not as adjustable as the Ergo chair. It's not as adjustable as a Herman Miller, but it has plenty to get you into a comfortable working position during the day, at least for me and for most people that I've talked to. Now, this is where we start getting into the why I prefer this chair over the others. So all the tech specs and everything else aside. The first is, and the reason why I have this chair instead of the Herman Miller was first the price, right? That's, that's always a consideration when you're looking for an office chair. But the other thing too is the front of the chair, at least on the Herman Millers, the frame where it meets the mesh, it always cut into the bottom of my leg. So I don't have small thighs. I've got they're, they're pretty decent size. Like uh, they're not huge, but they're kind of like athletic size 
thighs. And so there's a little bit of weight to them. And on the Herman Millers, my legs would hurt from that frame digging into the bottom of my leg. And I, I just could never deal, I couldn't deal with it. Now, I'm sure that if I had put it into the ejector seat position to where it was leaned forward, it would have taken some of the pressure off, but I never really liked the way that felt. On this one, because the seat kind of curves down before that frame and they have a foam pad under there, or it's in between the mesh and the actual frame itself, I've never felt that discomfort in this chair at all. Like it's always been comfortable to me. Um, another thing is, uh, just something to point out here is I've been using this chair religiously for seven years. I work in this chair. I'm probably in it anywhere from 10 to 12 hours a day on average. And this is the seat that I'm in all the time. So the comfort on the legs is huge. The fact that I've had it for seven years and it's still holding up is huge. And then I don't know if you've noticed or not, I'm recording the review in this chair right now and you haven't heard any cracks, you haven't heard any pops or squeals or anything like that. Like I'm moving around. This thing is basically silent. If I adjust, then you'll hear maybe a click from where the thing moves up and down a little bit, but it's not obnoxious, right? Like it's not what you'll hear on really cheap office chairs. And that's super important for me because I do video reviews like this. I also have my podcast that I do. And I want the background stuff to not be anything that I have to worry about. So that is huge to me. And especially now in the world that we're living in with COVID and all that, where we're constantly on Zoom or WebEx calls or whatever, believe me, if you have somebody on the other side that's got a chair that's obnoxious, it's, it's d distracting to the point where the calls are almost not even useful. So... All that said, those are the reasons why I like this chair. It is very comfortable for me. The mesh is breathable. Now, that's one thing to talk about here is this chair actually does come in two different varieties, and it seems like they've grown it over the years. Initially, I believe it was the mesh, the bottom mesh and the back mesh, and that's what I have. That's what I'm sitting in. Now, they also do have new versions of this chair that have a, a seat pad for the bottom and the back is still mesh. Now I have not had an opportunity to sit in those, so I don't know how comfortable they are. I don't know if the pad is, is decently thick enough to where you're not gonna bottom out and hit the plastic or the metal under it. I have no clue. But this particular mesh combination with the mesh on the back and the bottom is fantastic. I love it. It's very comfortable, breathes well. I mean, as long as you take care of it and you don't sit down in it with something sharp in your pocket, you'll be fine. If you do that, like on a, on a cushion seat, you'll cut a hole in the thing, but it'll be fine. You do it in one of these mesh chairs and you're going to have to go get it repaired because otherwise you're going to fall through the bottom of the chair, right? So that said, it's a fantastic seat. I, I Again, I sit in it all the time. I have also, I didn't like the rollers that came on the bottom of this thing. It's It was for the soft floor type rollers. I know that I had several people call me out on that in the autonomous review. So if you're on a super thin carpet, those rollers are probably fine. I'm on hardwood floors. If you're on a hardwood floor or, or anything else that you don't want scratched up, I would highly recommend getting these, these roller blade style casters for the bottom of it. They're amazing. They work great. But other than that, love this chair. I've, I've recommended this chair to, I don't know how many people over the years. And I think with the exception of one person who said it just didn't work for him, everybody else has loved the chair. And that's one thing to know, right? Like I can tell you in this review that this thing works great for me. I love it. Just know that if you're going to go buy this, chairs are like beds and like anything else that's comfort related. It's very personal, right? Like there's certain things that are going to work for you that won't work for me and vice versa. So what I'd recommend is if you go to pick this chair up, buy it from a place that has a good return policy, right? And then that way, if you buy it and you don't like it, you're not out that money. You might be out some shipping fees, but that's not terrible when you're trying to try out a chair. So um, yeah, I mean, I love this chair. This is the chair that I recommend more than anything else for all the chairs I've sat in. And the ones that I have, that I have memory of, are the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2, the Herman Miller Aeron series, 
the Leap V2, which I have in this room, and I bought as the original chair that I wanted to use for, for working at home, and it just never worked for me. I, I never could get fully comfortable in it. The padding on it didn't work out well for my butt. Like there, there were, it just never did it. And so out of all the chairs that I've tried, this is the one that I've stuck with and I love it. And I know with the autonomous, a lot of people asked about the, the arm pads, like they thought it sounded like they fell apart. Had this for seven years, these arm pads look amazing. As a matter of fact, I, I'm not trying to overblow this by any stretch. This chair looks no worse for wear than it did when I took it out of the box and put it together seven years ago. I mean, it looks fantastic. I, I don't baby it. I don't necessarily go about my days trying to make sure that it's perfect. It just looks great. It's held up extremely well. And I mean, that's that's really saying something. When you buy something and seven years later, you're still happy with your purchase. That's pretty excellent. So hopefully this review will help somebody out. Um, if you like the video, definitely leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them as soon as I can. And also, if you like this review and you are interested in more things like this coming up, I'm, I'm thinking about potentially doing like an ergonomic setup for a developer because I'm at my keyboard all the time. And, and years ago, I had some issues. So I'm thinking about going in and doing a review on some of the things that I've done that have helped with my wrists, my arms, that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified, click that bell down there. And other than that, I think that's about it. Again, uh, appreciate you hanging out and I'll be back soon with more information, more videos.